uh, maybe just to uh, uh, update everyone, the North-South Commuter Railway, our largest, uh, I think the Philippines' largest infrastructure project in history, is now almost 50% overall progress rate. Our first subway, the Metro Manila Subway project, has a more than 40% overall progress rate. The MRT-7 project is more than 70% completed with the target operations in the first part of 2026. LRT-1, Cavite Extension, the first five stations will be operational by the end of the year and a lot of other railway projects coming in and not just a lot of projects but a 30-year railway master plan also being developed together with our development partners from JICA who I saw in the room today and together with the Asian Development Bank. So not only are we delivering projects in the next few years but we're also preparing a big pipeline of railway projects for at least three decades and six administrations to come. But of course, we've also mentioned our road sector, the public transport modernization and the public utility vehicle modernization program is going to be our largest project in terms of people that will benefit from it. Because at the end of the day, our railways, our ports, our airports will not bring people to the last mile. You have to move on to a road-based transport, whether it's a modern jeepney, a bus, a three-wheel, a two-wheel uh, mode of transport, and it's our road transport, uh, it's, it's our la uh, road-based uh, transportation services that's going to do that. And of course, for our maritime sector, we've completed uh, more than 70 projects in the last uh, two years. Uh, but the Batangas Passenger Terminal Building is now the largest in the country with room for 8,000 passengers at any one time. It looks like an airport. If you haven't been there, the passenger experience for the Batangas port feels like an airport, but that also is just the beginning. We're working on the uh, new Cebu International Container Port in Cebu and a very innovative project, the Manila Bay, Pasig River, Marikina River, Laguna Lake Ferry System Project which is being done also as a PPP but also supported by the Asian Development Bank.